Hello and welcome to Coffee Break, Question and Answer. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to send your Bible questions. You send the questions. I will try to answer them. Keep them biblically related, if you would, please. This is all about the Bible and questions and answers. It's just another way to get into the Word of God and study it. So I'll give you my address, my email address, so you can send any questions you might have at the end of the broadcast. Meanwhile, you can study the whole Bible at thebibleversebyverse.com from Genesis through Revelation. Using my audio Bible messages, that's at thebibleversebyverse.com. Well, let's get into today's question. We do have a question from a listener, and he writes this. And actually, it's a multiple, multiple part uh, question, several questions. He begins by saying, do you believe Jesus is God? He says, I believe he's only the messenger. My understanding is Lord, capital L-O-R-D, means messenger. Doesn't Jesus speak of not worshiping him, but instead God? Now, sir, I must tell you that everything that you have said, other than your question, was about as wrong as it could possibly be. I don't know where you're getting your information. I don't know what you're reading, but I suggest that you stop because you're not getting it from the Word of God and start studying and reading the Bible exclusively. Your question, do you believe Jesus is God? Yes, Jesus is God. He said, you believe in God, believe also in me. He equated himself with God. His enemies hated him. The religious leaders hated him because he said he was the son of God. They said, making himself equal with God. You can't make yourself equal with God unless you're claiming to be God because God has no equal. And then, of course, after his resurrection, he appeared behind closed doors in the upper room. He appeared to the disciples, and Thomas came up to him and said, My Lord and my God. And Jesus accepted that worship from Thomas. If he had not been God, he would have rebuked Thomas for blasphemy. And that would have been the case if Jesus had not been God. He also said, when you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Jesus is God. He claimed to be God. His name, Emmanuel, God with us. He is God manifest in the flesh. He said only the things that God would say. He did only the things that God could do, including controlling the weather, stopping a storm, the Bible is clear about that in the Old Testament. No one but God can control the ocean waves or the waves of the sea, whatever the case. And so your question, do you believe Jesus is God? And then you go on to say, I believe he is only a messenger. I don't know where you got that from. You didn't get that from the Bible. He's not just God's messenger. The Bible teaches he is God manifest in the flesh. Jesus is 100% God. And then you go on also to say, my understanding is that capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D means messenger. My friend, you are wrong again. Lord, all capitals, does not mean messenger. It means God. The primary reason for the use of Lord, all capitals, in place of God's Hebrew name, is to follow the tradition of the Israelites in not pronouncing or spelling out God's name. Jesus is God. I suggest that you read the book of Colossians. I suggest that you go to the thebibleversebyverse.com and study Colossians with me, and it will become clear to you if you are open up open to truth. And then finally you say, doesn't Jesus speak of not worshiping him? Instead, God, no. Again, no. The Apostle Paul is the one who said, don't worship me, worship God. 
Jesus accepted worship. For your questions, send them to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. That's scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. Until next time, so long, everyone.